Hello guys, Kyle Bajor here, and today I'm going to be selling you my insane, wacky, unique, crazy Canadian build in Pokemon. I got Kyle Bajor. You guys have 50 million builds. Why Why should I use this build in particular? Well, half the builds are kind of bad. They have some Nerf bows, so I don't know if the bow builds are even viable anymore. And my other gun builds, like the cannon build, is pretty dog shit. The six shooter builds are. Yeah, six shooter build, it's cool, but it's not really that good. It's okay. And my poison air gun build, the issue with that is, is that it just doesn't like, work on like half the enemies in the game, like the prism troll, which if you want to kill high level enemies, obviously you're gonna need a different build. So I'll, I made this cannon build. It's pretty good. It's nothing too crazy, like items wise. I'm gonna show you all the items I'm using for the build. So we're gonna be taking a look at my skills, so obviously. Del kicks so is like a crit based build, kind of. It gives me extra crit chance and extra crit damage when I'm low defense, which they have like negative five defense on here, so pretty cold. Skill tree, sharpshooter, obviously, it's a cannon gun build, so we're gonna want the free extra 20% damage. Then juggernaut, free damage and then damage reduction, which is nice. They have two extra points, which I don't really know what to use for. You could get like free monger or you could get athlete, you just do whatever you want. Now we're going to take a look at the items that I'm using. So we're using the patchwork because honestly this is the best armor in the game pretty much. The crit chance is nice. The healing off crits is good because you don't have a blood gem. And the minus defense works well obviously with the skill that gives you crit damage. It's just really good armor. Then we have angry on it because you know we want less defense so we can get more crit chance and crit damage. Cowboy hat. It's not really option if you're doing a gun build in this game. There's not really anything else that really works with this shit. Sniper scope, any good build that's a gun build is gonna have the sniper scope. Like, it's just a no brainer. Don't really need to explain that. Outlaw glasses, this is pretty critical to the build <laughs> because every time you critical, see what I did there? You get like half your mana back, which is gonna be really helpful because the cannon uses up a lot of mana, but this build pretty much shoot it infinitely. Since we have the mana box, 35% less mana to fire. Which we do have a magic gem on our cannon, so we just like shoot it pretty often. Like every time I crit, I can get my mana back. You see, I'm just like, I, I can keep my mana up pretty high. The mysterious charm, free 10% damage, extra crit chance, so why not? Then we have the royal antenna. Honestly, I didn't really know what else to equip. That was like a pretty like 20 damage, that like tick damage. I thought it was pretty nice, so yeah. Oh, what makes the cannon build a lot better than the air gun build is just like I'm finding an enemy with like 10 defense. It's putting the defense on every single shot, so this build can get cucked pretty hard, even with like the defense piercing with the poison shit. But unstable cannon, we put unstable on it because I think having the extra speed is a lot better than a 15% damage buff from short sighted. Is we can just rapidly fire. For other reforges, like I probably just get anything that gives you dexterity. I couldn't really be bothered to like re forge all this stuff. You probably get like a little bit extra damage if you got all like the uh, depth on it and then you got fragile and armor. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get the items I'm using. Patchwork armor and sniper scope. You have to go to the observatory and craft it. You talk to our boy. What's his name? Talk to our boy Billy. What do you have? Sniper scope, patchwork. Uh, they have the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know how to get an item, you have to go buy it. Like sniper lens, you go buy in the savannah. But say you don't know how to get the nimble lens, you just type it out. Nimble. And then, there you go. Next item. So, fragile cowboy hat and deft ammo box. We buy both of these in the savannah area. So, we're going to go to savannah. You buy the ammo box from Verdant. Uh, pretty basic items. And you buy the cowboy hat from... The blacksmith here again pretty basic items on how to craft it nothing too crazy needed mysterious charm you get that from getting like wave 30 in the sky battleground arena which is in the sky island cloud city or whatever royal antenna you get that from fighting the king sand pod boss over in the deep desert and then the outlaw glasses you get that from fighting the shock marauder again you go in the savannah if you want to fight him you just buy the item from burden that should be, I think this build's pretty good. It, it, there's nothing that really counters it. Probably one of the best builds in the game just because of its versatility. I and mean, you're not really going to get hoed by any enemies. You can't really get countered with this build. It's just pretty good. 